What's up? It's your boy Jones and Man. Tonight with Jones and on Glenn Morris Elgin Classic. So, I've had this bottle on the shelf for quite some time, and tonight I said I'm just going to get into it. Uh, this was, I got this in Knoxville, Mick Scrooges. So, shout out to my folks over there at Mick Scrooges. This was a fairly inexpensive bottle. I want to say under 30 bucks, maybe 34, um, but very inexpensive when it comes to, because this is a single malt scotch. Now, I've looked up a couple of things on it, and... It's definitely entry level into this Glen Murray line um, or Glen Murray. I, I don't know how to say it. Probably I, I say Glen Murray. But anyway, this is entry in, an entry level into the line because it doesn't have an age statement on it. Um, I think I've seen a couple things that say it might have like some added coloring. So these are like the things that aren't on the upper scale or the upper level, but it is a single malt scotch. It is a space side. It's 80 proof, so it's lower on the proof standpoint. Um, but I think when you start looking at the price point, I really feel like I paid a lot less than 30, but I don't know for sure because it's, it's really been a long, long, long time ago. I'm not a big scotch guy, so I was looking for something that was uh, easy and approachable and didn't, bake, didn't break the bank. So, Let's pop it and let's get into it. Ooh, now that was a really good pop. Nice pour. I, it, I find it unusual that, like, why would they add color to it? So it must be really young to add color to something that is already, like, if I hold it up here, you can see it's already light color. I guess it's more so from a consistency standpoint. Smells like scotch. Slight bit of fruit on the end. A lot less smoke than on some scotches, but let's give it a taste. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go back one more time. Everything about it screams scotch to me. Um, a little bit of alcohol burn on the end, which is surprising at 80 proof. Slight bit of smoke. Really fruity and light up front. Um, I don't, I don't, I, it doesn't scream like super complex to me, uh, but I'm not a big scotch guy. However, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect it to be super complex at that price point for scotch. Let me do it on the ice cube, see if we get a little bit of a difference. And I really just threw a couple squares in the bottom. We're going to pour it over the top. This is from Prestige. Decanters, this is the Cullen and Glassware. Also on uh, jonesyman.com, you can grab some of that um, James Bentley glassware. I don't have one close by that I can show you. Uh, it actually smells really, really good. Like, I think scotch smells really impressively. Um, stays pretty true to the fruit side. Knocks out all of the heat. Probably a little bit more enjoyable to me, being watered down a little bit more, um, but thirty bucks, not a bad buy. You know, there's nothing about this that's offensive other than the last little bit of heat on the end, which is a little unusual for an eighty proof. Um, but I would put this up there with a, a monkey shoulder of sorts um, to give you a, a, an idea of what scotch tastes like without going all in and making a huge inv investment. Didn't, like I say, blow my socks off, but if I had to drink a scotch, I definitely would pour this one up. I'm going to give this a rating of a 3.5 because it doesn't blow me away. Um, I might like it a little bit more than a middle of the, of the road, especially on the rocks. Uh, I definitely love the price point of it. I, I looked online, I think I saw it for 22 but I feel like I paid closer to 30 So at 22 bucks, man, that's, that's pretty solid. Um, so if you're definitely getting it uh, under the 25 range, I think this becomes a better buy in the world of scotch for me as a non-scotch lover. 
Um, but yeah, there you got it, folks. Um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and then Tiki Takis. Go to jonesandman.com, grab yourself something fantastic. Click that link if you have alcohol shipped directly to your front door. Um, support your boy. Clink them and drink them. We'll see you next time.